Welcome to the webinar, and today we will be discussing the project integration in the expense management module. My name is Rob Fitzpatrick. I'm a senior AXD365 solution architect with Western Computer. And today we're going to learn how to activate the project integration in the expense management module and learn the different posting behaviors when the integration has been activated. So we'll go through the setup of basically what you need to do to turn this on. And we'll look at an expense report without the project integration and what happens upon posting. And then we'll do the same thing with the integration to the project. From a setup perspective, essentially the integration is controlled by the fact that we have project fields on the expense report itself. So in order to enable the expense management module to interact with the project management and accounting module, these fields should be turned on. So in the expense report fields setup area, we have the header where we will find the project ID field and set that to display. And then same thing on the expense report lines, set the visibility to the project ID field to display. And that'll show obviously the project drop down on both the header and the expense report lines. And essentially what that does is it tells the system, yep, this expense report line interacts with the project module. It needs to follow different rules when it posts to the system. Secondarily, you need some expense categories to interact with the project module itself. And that's controlled on the expense category itself. There's a switch on the expense category which says, can we use this in the project module? And you set that to yes for the expense categories that you would like to use in the project module. Furthermore, there is a project fast tab. Once that's activated, you can then go and fill out some additional information with regards to that project category. Most specifically is that category group because that can help you determine the ledger posting setup in the project module. And you want that active in journals and you can specify a default line property for your project out here. So important note here. So when you have this project integration activated, meaning you have a project filled out on your expense line, the posting to the general ledger will be controlled by the ledger posting setup in the project module. When that integration is not active, the posting to the general ledger will be controlled by the setup on the expense category. And we'll take a look at both of those scenarios here. Okay, so first things first, let's set ourselves up an expense category where I'll show you the difference between the two. So first things first, let me set up a category. Right now, I'm just going to say it can be used in expense, and it'll be a miscellaneous expense type. That's fine. So I'm going to leave the integration for this particular project category off for now. Let's run through it without the project first. So I'll set up a shared category. I will then set it up as an expense category. So again, I'll leave that off. The default payment method, let's say the employee pays for it. And this is the ledger account that I want it posted to. So let's get an expense count out here. Well, let's say it's a travel expense. So we're gonna go to 601500 as our ledger account. Okay, so head back out to expense management and I'll create an expense report. So I can specify purpose if I need to. Expense category, there's my demo expense category. Let's say it's 10 bucks, whatever it might be. And I'll push this through workflow. Okay, the expense report's gone through workflow, and I will take a look at the distributions for this expense report. So notice that the $10 went to 601500 just like I had set up on the expense category itself. So the cost side of that transaction gets recorded based on the GL account that's set up on the expense category in the expense management module. So that is good news. So let's now enable the project side of things here. So I will head out to 
the expense report fields in the header. Let's turn on the project. And in the expense lines, let's turn on the project as well. And then secondarily, let's head back out to our expense category. And enable this in the project module. Okay, so first things first. So I've got to enable it in the share category first. There we go. Get back down to my demo. There we go. All right, so my demo expense category can now be used in project as well as expense. Now under expense categories, now I can turn this one to yes. And now this project fast tab appears and is enabled. So I can choose the category group that it posts to and I can say it's got a default line property of billable. So just providing some additional information for that project category, so how it will interact with the projects. Okay, so let's head out to our expense report now and fill out a new expense report. All right, so purpose is here and now we can see that we have a project drop-down list that is enabled here. So I'm going to put that on a time and material project. Going to choose my category. You'll notice now also that on the lines I have the project ID field, the line property field, and the activity number, if you choose to use that on projects as well, is also available on the expense line. So I'll save that and I'll push this through workflow. My expense report is out of workflow. And what I'll do now is check my project. So I'll head into the project management and accounting module. I'll take a look at my projects. And I put it to this demo time and material project. And when I take a look at the posted transactions, there's my demo expense. So let's take a look at the voucher. So you can see the ledger account that it picked up on the cost side is 540210, whereas when we had it set up previously, it was going to an account that started with the 60,000. So you can see that the posting that it followed is different than what I had set up on the expense category itself when the project integration was not activated. And just to show you out here in the project module under setup posting, ledger posting setup, for costs, everything that I had as a travel expense or a project expense, I believe is the category I selected, it's going to go to 540210, which is exactly where that transaction went to. So I hope this was useful in showing you how you can quickly turn on the project integration with the expense management module and begin to have your expense reports hit projects and actually control the posting of your project related expense reports through the project module. So with that, thank you. If you have any other questions or if you have any other suggestions for topics, please give us a call, send us an email, and we'll be sure to get that out to our website. Thanks.